Hello, so welcome to video two. So now that you have the title to the story of where you are right now with your teenager, I wanna give you two tools to have some awareness of what you want to think about them now and how you want to feel about them. Now the first tool is that I want you to visualize your future self and your future child in 10 years. So I want you to write down how old would you be in 10 years? How old will they be? I want you to really picture your child. Not only are they through the teenage years, they're probably through the college years. Now I want you to picture them in a successful life. What does it look like for you? What are the dreams you have for them in 10 years? Are they married yet? Do they have a, uh, have they started a family? What type of job do they have? How successful are they? How are they feeling? They probably don't have the insecurities or lack of confidence that they might have right now as a teenager. I want to, you to think of yourself. You're now the parent of another successful adult in the world. Now, this future self of yours, how do they want you to now be thinking about being a parent in these teenage years? If you knew everything was going to turn out okay, which you do, you're looking forward, you see the 10 year plan, you know everything's gonna be okay. What do you want to be thinking and feeling right now? What does this future self want you to be learning? What do they want you to have more confidence in right now? What do they want you to believe that maybe you don't believe right now? How do they want you to act or react in certain situations? Now, you know, everything's going to be okay. So how does this future parent want you to feel about maybe struggles or challenges that your teenager has right now? And I want you to get really specific about different things that they want you to think. Now, your child is learning and growing exactly as they should be. They have to become the best version of themselves, which is different from us. So really allow yourself some quiet time to go through this. Now, the next tool I want to give you is that the only thing we ever want in life is to feel a certain way. So people might say, well, I want more money, but it's really because they think the money is going to make them think and feel a certain way. And it's really their thoughts about that that are going to make them feel something. People might want a better job but it's really so that they can feel successful or they can feel a certain way in that job. People might wanna lose weight, but it's really so they can feel a certain way. So I want you to have that awareness that the one thing we really want most in life is to feel something. So I want you to decide, how do you wanna feel about your teenager now? So love is a good place to start. And I know you love them. We all love our teenagers. What are some other emotions you want to feel towards them now? Do you want to be proud of them? Do you want to be energized and, and so excited for their future? Do you want to be curious as to maybe why they are a certain way and what has helped them um, and why, why they maybe have certain strengths or weaknesses? Do you want to feel confident that they can achieve everything they need to achieve? Do you want to be optimistic? Do you want to be peaceful? So I want you to know we are going to solve this problem in video three. So please stick around. And in the next video, you're going to learn about how you can have so much control over your emotions, actually all of your control, and how you can create the love and the positive emotions that you want to have. So do the work for video two and I'll see you in video three.